Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. It's me MLG and again I welcome you once again in our video lesson and we are now in our quarter 2, module 2, week 2 and we'll be focusing on earthquake and fault. But before I'll go on to the discussion, I'd like to say thank you for the support because we're able to achieve our first quarter lesson and finally uh, natapos natin yun. And this will be our first lesson for quarter 2 but I have something to be uploaded next week kasi hindi ko siya na-upload. Oh by the way, sa so mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe dyan, please do subscribe my channel so that you will also learn something new in this world of science. And of course, do not forget to hit the notification bell para lagi updated kayo sa mga bago kong videos na in-upload. Alright? So, again, as always, I am going to start my lesson with the learning competencies. And this is the learning competency. So, the first one is differentiate the epicenter of an earthquake from its focus. Next, we have differentiate intensity of an earthquake from its magnitude. And we have differentiate active and inactive faults. Alright, those are the learning competencies of this lesson. But in this particular video, we'll be focusing more on the first two competencies. Okay? For us to be guided, these are the learning objectives. First, we have differentiate epicenter from focus and intensity from magnitude. Second, discuss a scale adopted in the Philippines to describe the intensity and magnitude of an earthquake. Well, to unlock our confusions of some terms that we need to use in this particular topic, here are some of the terms that we need to define. First, we have fault. Fault are cracks or fractures in Earth's crust where rock moves or slide past each other. Accordingly, faults are made up of structures such as fault plane, focus, and epicenter. Well, the next term that we're going to define is focus. So... What is focus? Focus, it is also known as hypocenter. It is the area below the Earth's surface where the first slip occurs or where an earthquake originates. While epicenter, it is the area directly above the focus. The next term is intensity. Intensity measures the effects of earthquakes on people, structures, and surroundings. Well, magnitude Magnitude measures the energy released by an earthquake. Well, those are the terms that are very essential in learning this lesson. Alright, since our major focus here is all about earthquakes, so I'll have to give you an overview of what earthquake is all about. Our earthquake is the shaking or trembling caused by the sudden release of energy. Aside from that, it is usually associated with faulting or breaking of rocks. And Continuing adjustment of position results in aftershocks. In the next lesson, I'll be showing you some pictures or diagram that would help us out understand better about epicenter, focus, and of course earthquake. Well, as you can see in the picture, obviously we have fault, epicenter, and hypocenter. Well, fault, as we all know, fault is can be also called as hypocenter or the focus. So let's go deeper about differentiating these terms. Well, in the next picture, of course, it has a diagram wherein um, it has epicenter, seismic waves, fault line underground, focus. Alright, in this picture, these three terms were clearly differentiated. First, the focus or focus. Focus of each earthquake is the place where the earthquake originated. The foci or the plural of focus are located along faults. The surface location directly above the focus is called the epicenter. Well, we have a question here. Where do you think the damage from an earthquake is usually greatest? So what do you think will be the answer? If you know the answer, then please um, type that one in the comment section. Right to deepen our understanding, here is another way of describing epicenter and focus. For the focus, it is the place where the earthquake starts or the source. It is where energy radiates out in all directions, while epicenter, it is the location on the surface of Earth directly above the focus. So again, there's the picture. You have epicenter, 
the fault and hypocenter so it is very clear here that the epicenter is just above directly above from the hypocenter and it has fault line i hope that those terms are now clear to you the focus and the epicenter those terms are associated with our major topic which is earthquake all right so let's now proceed to another topic which is intensity and magnitude well what's the difference between intensity and magnitude how are you going to use this term so when you say intensity what are we talking about when you say magnitude what is this referring to malaman natin yan for this particular lesson so Again, let's proceed now. Well, accordingly, we have here magnitude and intensity. The magnitude, it is the energy released by an earthquake at the focus. It is calculated from earthquakes recorded by an instrument called a seismograph. While intensity, it is the strength of an earthquake perceived and felt by people in a certain locality. Intensity is generally higher near the epicenter okay. all right understand better about magnitude and intensity here is another explanation about the difference between magnitude and intensity well magnitude versus intensity when we say magnitude it measures the energy release at the source of the earthquake which is from the focus all right and the earthquakes that are small in magnitude and are far from urban areas were barely felt but are recorded in seismograph while intensity as you can see in the picture it measures the shaking in a certain location earthquakes that are shallow and near urban areas can be greatly felt even if they are weak well this file is taken from earth shaker when we talk about magnitude and intensity we also have to know how is this being represented well for intensity it is represented by Roman numerals, while for magnitude, it is expressed in terms in Hindu Arabic numerals. That's 1, 3, 6, 9. So, do you know now how to recognize these two? One is a Roman numeral, and other one expressed in terms of Hindu Arabic numerals. Okay, alright, let's proceed now to different scales in measuring or determining the intensity, magnitude, and the size of an earthquake. So actually we have four here. So first we have Mercalli intensity scale. Second we have Richter magnitude scale. Three we have moment magnitude scale. And for Feebox earthquake intensity scale, PEIS. Alright, this um okay, let's discuss one by one. The Mercalli intensity scale is used to determine the impact or intensity of an earthquake. So for the Richter scale. It is also called as the Richter magnitude scale is an absolute scale which measures the amount of seismic energy released by an earthquake. Aside from that, it is a numerical scale for expressing the energy release of an earthquake from the data recorded by a seismograph. Naturally, the greater the magnitude is, the stronger the earthquake is. The moment magnitude scale or MW it work over a wide range of earthquake sizes while the number 4 Fevox earthquake intensity scale or PEIS it measures how an earthquake is felt in a certain area based on the effects of an earthquake on structures and surroundings Alright so let's proceed now so here I included the picture wherein it would help us how to determine the magnitude and intensity of an earthquake okay using the table so as you can see the Mercalli intensity so um, it is being written in Roman numerals so we have 1 2 and then up to 11 and then the magnitude is written or expressed in terms of Hindu Arabic numerals so 1 up to 8 and of course the description or the witness observations and in the other side we also have this one so as we all know that the intensity refers to the um, the shaking of earth so we have here um the perceived shaking so if it's one it's not felt two to three it's weak four light uh five we have moderate and six we have strong seven we have very strong eight severe nine we have violent and the last we have here the extreme so 
So those are some of the indicators for me to consider the intensity based on its observation. Okay, so I hope that from the picture shown, you were able to somehow identify now the magnitude and intensity including the description right um, well as i have said if it is intensity it is being expressed in terms of roman numeral while if it is magnitude it is expressed in terms of hindu arabic of course associated with the witness observation or the indicators for you to um, categorize um, the magnitude and of course the intensity of an earthquake before i end this vlog um, I have to leave this question or what we call check your understanding. Choose one from the questions given. Write your answer in the comment section. Here are the questions. Number one, suppose an earthquake occurred in Luzon. Would the intensity and magnitude of an earthquake be the same all over the Philippines? Explain your answer. Second, how are the intensity and magnitude of an earthquake measured? And last question, when an earthquake occurs, where would you expect to have the greater damage and more shaking on the ground? It is near, would it be near the epicenter or away from the epicenter? Explain your answer. Uh, Alright, okay, so that ends our vlog for today about epicenter and fault. Well, before I end, I'd like to also give credit to the authors of this module, so the writers, of course, for um, spending their time for sharing their knowledge to the students so thank you very much because i use this one also to um, make the students understand better about the concept and of course to my co-science teachers thank you also for the support and of course to our students who took time to study to review to relearn the topic they'll be watching this vlog so again see you in my next vlog bye everyone <laughs>